Okay, this is the audio captured in the NV100 itself. This is the 16mm model. Um, we are looking at currently, there's a beer can out there at 75 metres. Um, the scope we're using is a Nico Sterling Panamax 3 to 9, and I thought 75 metres is a very typical sort of um, range that, you know, this top stuff goes on at, and the 3 to 9 is pretty common. So here is a 3 power on the 16mm, and we'll wind it up to 9 power. I'll just refocus that on the scope. So as you can see, that is 9 power with the 16mm model. Alright, next we'll do the 12mm model. Okay, again, now this is the 12mm uh, uh, model, NV100, and that is on the same scope, the Nico Sterling Panamax 3 to 9. That's 3 power. I'll zoom that into 9 power. I think that should give you a good comparison between the two and you can see the difference between the 12mm and the 16mm model. Um, <coughs> the next footage you're going to see, and again this audio is, is um, recorded on that commander, the next footage you're going to see is all hunting footage, well it's all yeah, night time stuff, a little bit of daytime stuff, um, it's all done with a Howard 1100 and 22 long rifle, and um, it's all done with the Nico, uh, sorry no it's using a Zero Tech 3 to 12. Um, it's done over two locations on three different nights. The first night was location one. Uh, the next night was location two, and it was extremely windy. Um, 30 to 40 km hour winds were gusting to 50. Terrible for shooting, but that was all we had. And the last night was uh, more mild conditions. A little bit of wind, but nothing like the, the first night at that location. All right, let's watch that. <laughs> yep. That's it. It's shot. That's all right. Yep. Got him. Into. Hit. Oh. No, just up. Oh, that one's running. He's getting the f out of there. Might stop, little fella. Stop. He's behind the bushes. I can't see his eyes. Yeah. I got him. 